Hi, welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. This is a very important bag to me. This bag has been beaten. This, this box has been beaten up. This is a heavy bag. This didn't get the best love in shipping. Um, I can't really show you how crumpled it is. Well, I can. Let me just cover the pertinent information. Um, so this is a gift donation bag. What do I mean by that? I paid full price for asking. This is her bag. She sold this to me. Um, and she's using the money she earned from the sale to support the local dog shelter for homeless pets. So buying food, buying blankets, buying things for helping pets without homes. So this is a very important bag to me. This is a dream bag I never thought I'd own. Um, I didn't think I could afford it. I, and I really couldn't afford it in any other situation. Um, so it's really a, a combination of a gift and um a donation because she's used oh my god this is gorgeous oh my goodness goodness gracious guys goodness gracious i can't i can't express the amount of of reverence and joy and love i have this her name's veronica the seller sold me her bag this is her bag she bought this bag had this bag use this bag she's she's a well i'm a collector she's a collector she has like 44 bags she's now a friend because i told her i had a bag channel hi veronica if you're watching and uh, so this this bag went to support um homeless animals and with the generosity of her heart because she didn't have to do that that's her um, desire to do that and it wasn't reason i bought the bag i bought the bag because i love the bag and this is called this is a ralph lauren bag it is called the pleated Ricky. So this is the full Ricky, not the soft Ricky, but it's also pleated. So the Ricky bag comes, so if you're not aware, and I wasn't aware, um, Ralph Lauren Boutique in their actual boutique stores has an upline. It's the purple label. This is the purple label. And they have, so these bags brand new run in the thousands of dollars. Like a brand new Ricky 33 is like $3,300. I did not pay $3,300 for this. I'm pretty sure she spent around two and a half thousand dollars for this when she bought this bag brand new. Um, you don't see, I love a pleated bag. I, you know me, I love a pleated bag. This is a very beautiful bag. There is, this, there's nothing, there's some edge wear, um, because it's a bag. This is what happens to bags. It just needs a little bit of moisturizer. It will bounce right back. Uh, most people don't moisturize their bags. They just use them, love them, and then just keep on, keep it on. So let me show you. Let me see if I can figure out how to open this. She says there's was, was a trick to it. And I, um, she says, okay, so you just push down on, on the lock and this flips right up. It opens this. So then this opens like so. And it's, a lot of people compare this to a, um, Birkin because of the style of the flap collar but I think it's just oh my gosh this bag is beautiful this bag is phenomenal um I understand the hype I get it there's some marks on here um just because of use I mean this is what happens it has one zip pocket on here and then it has a um what do you call it just a little button pocket here a snap closure so it's one large thing I don't see I'm sure the label is hiding in here somewhere um, but th that's not even I just want to see what it says because I don't know I've never seen one of these bags before this is my first time seeing this bag guys the first first impressions video first impressions video is wow um, wow 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 Int oh here is that the label that is a label. So it's made in Italy, has a made in Italy tag right here, a leather tab on the inside pocket. Let me see if there's, I think that's the only labeling I see. It just says made in Italy. And the only other way you know it's a Ralph Lauren bag, well, other than you know, is it says um, Ralph what does it say? It says Ralph Lauren right here. I don't have a key um, for this. I'm sure. And it has Ralph Lauren right here stamped um, for this bag. But if I, even if I had the key, I would never use it. Um, I, I've never understood purses with 
keys because you can just take the whole bag. Like you just walk off with the bag, you know, <laughs> that's the whole point. This is a very heavy bag, guys. This is, wow. I am in awe. The interior details, what I can't really explain to you is that when they did the lining, when they do bag lining in here, they use a leather um, piping on the interior. See this finish detail on the inside? I, I've never seen a bag do that before. And I have a couple mulberry bags. And uh, the the detailing, the, the minor details on here are just, they make all the difference. They really do. So I would probably carry it open like this because I like an open top bag. Um, I don't think it's difficult, remotely difficult to um, keep it closed or open like this because the weight of the bag is, is all supported by here. So this is only a handbag. This is a small opening. This can go on my arms, you know, just fine and carry it this way. But it's not a shoulder bag. It's not a crossbody bag. This is a heavy bag empty. Um, this bag is phenomenal. I am, I can't. I feel blessed, very blessed. So let me tell you how much I pay for this bag. So there's some obvious damage. A lot of people looking for Ricky's are the high end um, Ralph Lauren on the on the relove pre-love market. They want perfect bags. A lot of people want perfect bags. This bag is perfect for me, but some people wouldn't agree because it does have markings. It has wear on on the side. It doesn't have the key. You know, it has these little details that a lot of, it doesn't have the dust bag. It doesn't have any paperwork. It's just a pretty beautiful bag, right? And great. And to me, it's a great free love condition. And it also, because of the type of bag, it's going to puddle like this. So you do want to store this so it doesn't crease more filled. You want to stuff it and then you want to hang it on, put it on the, sh hang it, put it, not hang it, but put it down. Um, and this is, this is phenomenally beautiful. Um, I'm just going to hang on to it on my arm while I pick up the details and I'm going to give this lady the most glowing review, um, ever. And, um, she's amazing. We talked back and forth as it was. And this, this bag I purchased for $425, which is expensive for me. This is one of my more expensive bags in my entire collection. Like only thing more expensive than this bag is honestly my Louis Vuitton bags. Even my mulberry bags weren't this expensive because they were pretty loved and vintage. This is, um, I don't know the, the year this came out, but let me see what it says on the original listing. This is purple Lauren label Ricky pleated brown bag. That's how she described it. She had it um, listed for $425. I bought it for $425. This was the lowest she was willing to accept for this bag. And I was so happy for it. She says, so she says, the oh, description says pleated, um, hard to find, nice condition, some misshaping wear from sitting, um, even stuff, pleats don't stay perfect because it's pleating, you know. But I feel, I view stuff like this as character because like what happens, what is, what is, what do I mean by the pleats? There's, so there's wrinkling here because that's where the leather is folding and wrinkling. There's wrinkling here. But so you're expecting it to say this smooth. That's not what happens with leather. Leather is a natural material. And as it ages, it goes from smooth to looking a little wrinkled, especially like this because that's just wear and tear on the bag and the way it pleats. I love it. I think it's art. I think this is beautiful. I think this is like, <sighs> I like this more than my Louis Vuitton bags. I said it. I said it. I mean it. I like this bag more than my Louis Vuitton bags. I like this more than my leather Louis Vuitton bags. I had one point in my life spent $2,000 on a Louis Vuitton en prompt, um, beautiful blue, I think it's called blueberry blue bag. It was a collection, a seasonal collection bag and loved it. But I didn't like the condition of how that leather, the en prompt leather wore. I didn't like it. I like smooth leather like this. And, and I also like pebbled leather, but something about the en prompt leather, I didn't like everything I had ever purchased from Louis Vuitton and en prompt I've sold. So I've learned, don't buy it. 
this, I would buy this before I bought another Louis Vuitton anything. Anything. I think this is beautiful. And that was the choice I made when I bought this bag, guys. So I said, do I spend $400, um, 450 essentially with tax, shipping, um, probably more than that, right? Let's see what the actual order details look like for what I paid. So four seventy seven. It was sixteen dollars in shipping and thirty six dollars in tax. Retail the price is you know four twenty five, so four hundred right under five hundred dollars for this bag. And would I have purchased a five hundred dollar Louis Vuitton Speedy? I was looking at one. I was looking at a couple of them. Actually, I was looking at $600 Speedies because they're Speedies and they were Epi leather and they were vintage. And actually the really, the nicer one I was looking at was $700. And I said, I can't get everything I want. I can only, I have to make choices. And I says, I know what Louis Vuitton looks like. I know what Louis Vuitton sells for. And I know how often I use and don't use it. I don't know anything about the Ricky bag. I know nothing about this level of American luxury designer. I know nothing about this bag other than my friend, Birkin Boy, thank you, Craig, um, and Caleb had a video, but I bought this before Caleb's video came out. I bought this and had been looking for this for months. Thank goodness I did, because as soon as Caleb's video came out, everybody started looking for them, right? So I luckily got this before um, the influencing um, influencing happened. So um, this bag is a Ricky pleated, and it's just a full Ricky. It's very heavy. It's very beautiful. I got it for a phenomenal price for a good cause, because she's donating the money she earned from this to donate to charity for homeless animals in her area and uh, that just makes this bag even more precious to me and this is gonna be a forever bag in my collection um, and I will do more reviews once I actually get to use it and show you what I do with it and how I condition it and ev all those good things you'll see this bag again and again and again because this is my wish list of 2024 and um, this is one of and it came true I got a wish list item. I had three bags on my wish list. Um, and I, two of them I thought I'd never get. I never thought I'd get this one, but I had more of a potential of getting this one than the, um, the Row India bag, which I probably will never purchase. And the Hermes Bolide bag, which I know I probably will never afford because those bags run in the thousands. This bag does run in the thousands, but pre-loved, you can find it for four or $500 all the way up to $1,500. It really does depend on condition. And like, did it have, had the key? Did it have all the other stuff with it? Did it have a box? Did it have whatever? Might have changed the value of this bag. But for me, I just wanted a bag I could use. And this is a bag I can use. And I don't, I'm not a collector in the sense where I um, have to have all the accoutrements. I just want a bag that's beautiful that I can use that it's well made. And this is the best made bag in my entire collection. And I have some beautiful vintage Ferragamo that I would put up with this. This is still more beautiful than that, those. And uh, uh, this is this is a definitely a gem of my collection. Thank you so much for watching my video. Would you buy this uh, pleated Ricky? Are you looking for a Ricky? Do you like Ralph Lauren? What do you think? Would you buy a Louis Vuitton or would you buy a Ricky? Um, cause I made that choice and, um, I didn't buy the Louis Vuitton. I bought the Ricky. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.